Today, I am finally going to be showing my complete gaming and productivity setup going into 2023. It's been a really long time since my last setup video and so much has changed since then. I just wanted to show you guys everything that I'm using at the moment. Now, before we begin, please be sure to like and subscribe for more content just like this. And please leave a comment telling me what your goals are for 2023. I also just wanna thank every single person who watches my videos. Now the support I've received is absolutely incredible, so please check the description for a link to my Discord. We have a really welcoming community and we also have set up photos channels where people can share photos of their setup. So please be sure to join, the link to that is in the description below. So I think the best place to start is with the desk. Now I'm using a Larg Captain desk with two Alex drawers from Ikea. I've had this desk for absolutely ages and it has never let me down. Now the surface is getting a little bit worn so I'm actually looking to do a vinyl wrap of the desk and I was thinking maybe white marble would look really nice. But please do let me know what you think. Think. On top of my desk are two Alienware monitors. I have them mounted in this orientation as the vertical monitor is great for fitting lots of text on the screen. Because I use this setup both for productivity such as coding and university work, as well as for gaming, having the vertical screen lets me have either Discord or code easily visible. My main monitor is 360Hz and my secondary is 240 I was actually looking to sell both of these and switch to the BenQ 360Hz going forward, but regardless these Alienware screens are really really nice and have served me very well. Now having my screens off to the right like this gives me some space on the left for books and stationery when I'm studying at my desk. Now for my university work I'm using the ThinkPad X220. I'm also running Arch Linux on it. Now if you're somebody within the computer science field, whether it be software engineering, coding, data analysis or anything in between, you'll know how great these laptops are for that kind of work. But in short, they're very cheap, very durable, older laptops with great I.O. and keyboards, which just make them perfect for programming. Now I'm also using the Elgato Wave LP microphone arm. However, I do have it mounted vertically so that I can have my microphone pointing from above my monitor. This way it's just completely out of the way. Now for the microphone, I'm using the Shure SM7B alongside the Focusrite Scarlett Solo and the Sub-Zero MV1. I could not be happier with this microphone setup. Now if you'd like to see it in more detail, I did actually make a video of when I got everything. As for my peripherals, I have used and built hundreds of custom mechanical keyboards. However, right now I'm using the Happy Hacking HHKV Professional Classic. It uses Topra's electrocapacitive switches and it's a mechanical keyboard that is extremely expensive. However, it is really comfortable to type on, and the layout which uses control where caps lock typically is, really helps for programming and productivity. Now I also feel like the tactile bump on Topra switches is just better than any MX style mechanical switch I've ever used. The only issue was really the loudness of the stabilizers, but I actually recently looped the keyboard completely. So here is a sound test of the HHKB Professional Classic. As for my mice, I know a lot of people are likely wondering what the weird looking mouse is. It's actually a treadball called a Kensington Orbit. It's really comfortable and I use it for everything that is not gaming. I really do prefer it over a traditional mouse. However, when I'm playing competitive FPS games, such as Overwatch 2 or Apex, I always switch to the G-Wolves HSK+. Plus. It's a super light, super small gaming mouse, which in my opinion is one of, if not the best ultralight mice on the market right now. It really is unmatched for competitive FPS games. Now my mouse pad I'm always changing. I have a lot of them and I tend to switch them out when I get bored. However, right now I'm using the original UK mouse pad from many years ago. However, I do feel like my favourite mousepad right now is probably the Soku X1, which I did actually make a video review on if you want to watch that. As well as that, I'm also using the UKM Skypad 3.0, and I really like all my mousepads. I tend to just switch them out to make sure they always feel fresh. I'm always drinking something, whether it's tea, coffee, or just water, and for a coaster I'm using these really old floppy disks. Now the ones I'm actually using are pirated versions of software for really old computers, and I found them on eBay and just thought they were really cool. Now finally for my PC. The case I'm using right now is the Corsair Crystal 280X. For cooling, I'm using all Corsair RGB fans, as well as the Corsair H100i Capillix water cooler. With this, I'm using 32GB of 3200MHz Corsair RGB RAM, and this way everything syncs up really nicely with the Corsair IQ software. Now for my specs, I'm running the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X, as well as the Gigabyte Vision 3070OC. I really love my PC, and it lets me play any game I want at frame rates higher than my refresh rate. This way I can make full use of my 360Hz display. As well as Windows, I'm actually running Arch Linux as my second operating system, as I use it for everything that isn't gaming or video editing. So all my productivity work, my coding work, and all my university stuff happens on that operating system. Now having two really gives me the best of both worlds, as Linux is better for programming and coding, and Windows is much better for gaming and video editing. Now above my setup are these floating shelves, which I have displaying my Gundam collection. 
I really love Gundam and I was actually thinking of doing some super chill Gundam build streams if that seems like something people would want to watch. Now a new addition to my setup is this bookshelf that I have between my desk and my bed. I really do like to read, whether it's manga or traditional books, and I have some of my favourites here. Alongside these I have two Raspberry Pis, one is running Mood Audio into my speakers, allowing me to connect to my speakers via Bluetooth, and the other Raspberry Pi is running a custom Kodu build so that I can emulate classic games. Right now I'm emulating the original Silent Hill on PlayStation 1. It really is nice to have a chill spot right here to play retro games, read and listen to music when I'm not on my setup. As for the display for this bookshelf, I'm using the Sony PVM. It's a really high-end Sony monitor from the early 2000s, and it really is just perfect for retro games as well as older anime. When it comes to older anime and video games from that era, they were likely designed on displays just like this. So when you end up playing and watching them on it, it just feels perfect. Next to my PVM I have my bonsai. It's a Chinese elm and is about 7 years old. A few people were asking me about this on Twitter actually. Now finally for the rest of my decorations. Above my bookshelf are my Miku collection. I have so many at this point and I think I am finally done with my Miku purchases. A lot of these were gifts from my girlfriend, others are ones that I got from conventions or from online shopping. But yeah, Miku is our mascot for a reason. On the wall above my bed are these metal wall grids that I have this little display on. Currently I've got these really nice spirited away postcards. I also have three of my favourite mice alongside a mechanical keyboard. I also have a Dark Magician Girl and some Miku memorabilia here as well. Next to that is my latest collage which I made which is full of concept art from all different things I like. I went for concept art as I feel like it has a really cool style and this way all the franchises blend together and look complete. Now finally for lighting, I have these fairy lights over the wall decorations and then all along the border of my room I have these e-home RGB strips. I have them inside of a PVC housing this way the lights look nice and diffused instead of being just bare LEDs on the wall. Now that's about everything in my setup. Thank you so much for watching. I was actually planning on doing some study with me streams here on this YouTube channel, so stay tuned for those. Do be sure to join my Discord below and show me what your setup looks like. And be sure to like and subscribe for more content just like this. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.